हेलो स्टूडेंट्स टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट द मोमेंट ऑफ इनर्शिया एज वी नो द मोमेंट ऑफ फोर्स अबाउट अ पॉइंट इज द प्रोडक्ट ऑफ फोर्स एंड द पर्पेंडिकुलर डिस्टेंस बिटवीन द पॉइंट एंड द लाइन ऑफ एक्शन ऑफ द फोर्स सो इफ वी कंसिडर फोर्स एफ एंड द एक्स इज द पर्पेंडिकुलर डिस्टेंस बिटवीन द पॉइंट एंड द लाइन ऑफ एक्शन ऑफ द फोर्स सो इट विल बी द मोमेंट ऑफ फोर्स दैट मोमेंट ऑफ फोर्स विल बी एफ इन टू एक्स नाउ Uh, if this uh, moment f x is further multiplied by the distance x, then it will be moment of moment or the uh, uh, it will be second moment of force. So the second moment of force or moment of moment will be f x into x. So it will be f x square. Now if we replace f by the area or Uh, the mass of the body then the resulting parameter is called moment of inertia if we replace f by the area of the body and the mass of the body so it will be the the resulting parameter is called moment of inertia so if we replace f by a or the area of the body then the moment of inertia for the plane area will be a x square x is the perpendicular distance now if we replace uh, f with mass of the body then the moment of inertia of body will be m x square inertia is basically a property of body uh, where the body resists any change in its state of rest or in uniform motion Uh, the area moment of inertia uh, is uh, generally measure of resistance to bending and it is applied uh, while dealing with the deflection of members or the deformation of members in bending but in mass moment of inertia uh, it uh, it gives a measure of resistance that body offer to change in angular velocity and accordingly it is used in conjunction with the rotation of rigid bodies here in this diagram you can see uh, the area a and in this area we are considering a small elemental area da uh, the distance of this elemental area from y axis is x and from x axis uh, the distance is y so uh, basically the moment of inertia of any lamina is the second moment of all the elemental area so here the elemental area is da so if we are considering i x x is the moment of inertia about x axis here we are considering i x x is the moment of inertia about x axis so it will be the second moment of area so it will be summation of y d a this is the uh, moment of area and if we multiply by the uh, uh, y or the distance from x axis so it will be the second moment of area or the moment of inertia about x axis so it will be summation of y square da so we can say i x x equal to summation of y square da is the moment of inertia about x axis now similarly if we consider i y y as the moment of inertia about y axis so it will be same summation of x da A, this x d a is the moment of area, and if we multiply by the x, uh, then it will be summation of x square d a. So it will be moment of inertia about y axis or the second moment of uh, area. So here i x x is the moment of inertia about x axis, and i y y is the moment of inertia about y axis. Uh, um, here y d a. Uh, is the first moment of area uh, about x axis and y uh, da into y here you can see y da into y is the moment of first moment or the second moment of area about x axis Simil similarly for y if similarly for this here x into da uh, is the first moment of area uh, about uh, the um, y axis and uh, this x da into x is the uh, moment of uh, the moment of first moment or the second moment of area about y axis 
so here we can say the moment of inertia of a section about an axis uh, is uh, the product of area and uh, the square of the distance from the axis so according to that if we are taking uh, the length uh, is in uh, mm uh, then the unit of moment of inertia will be fourth power of the length or if we are taking the unit of the length is mm so it the unit of the moment of inertia will be mm to the power of 4 thanks for watching the video and subscribe the channel for more lectures